Here's a fun experiment to try. I'm going to take a peel from this orange, and I'm going to squirt the juice from this peel onto this balloon. <laughs> Woo! I guess I got a couple of them. <laughs> this test, as you can see, it's so sensitive. I got a little bit of juice left on my fingers. I'll try to pick this balloon up here. <laughs> Woo! That didn't work real well. So as I grab these balloons, I'm going to try to grab them from the, from the tip here. A lot of folks surmise that it's probably the acid in the orange peel juice that causes the balloon to pop. That, that's an interesting idea. So I'm going to take some, uh, some citric acid solution. I bought some citric acid at the grocery store and just dissolved it into this, uh, into this water here. And so I'm going to drip some of this citric acid solution. It's 0.1 molar onto this balloon. 0.1 molar is about the concentration found in, in citrus fruits. It didn't seem to work real well. I want to push this acid test just a little bit further. And instead of uh, testing this balloon with a weak acid by citric acid, I'm going to test it with a strong acid. So here's some hydrochloric acid. Its concentration is 2 molar. That's 20 times more concentrated than the citric acid. Plus, it's a strong acid. We'll try that. Well, I guess my acid tests have failed. And I'm going to reject this idea that it is the acid in citrus fruits, or the juice from the citrus fruit peel, that causes the balloon to pop. What might it be? Well, I've uh, read a few reports online that say it is something called limonene. It's, the, it's a compound that gives oranges its, uh, its beautiful odor, its delicious odor. So limonene in the orange peel causes the balloon to pop. Here's the structure of limonene, the chemical structure of limonene. I'm going to drip some limonene onto this balloon and see what happens. This stuff is called soil mender D-limonene. It's 100% D-limonene. I bought it online at a soil and garden store. <laughs> Woo! Well, I think maybe you can believe what you read online in this case. It looks like limonene does cause a balloon to pop. Well, why might this be so? Well, limonene is a hydrocarbon, so it's nonpolar. Balloons are made of rubber, and rubber is also a hydrocarbon. It's the hydrocarbon polymers that uh, make up rubber. So it could be that the nonpolar limonene is dissolving the nonpolar balloon weaken in the structure causing it to pop. It's just like dissolves light. To test this idea, I'm going to take a little bit of hexane. Hexane is nonpolar. So if this idea is correct, I would expect the nonpolar hexane to dissolve the surface of the nonpolar balloon, weakening the structure and cause it to pop. Let's find out. We'll drop. Woo! That works. So that's kind of what I think is going on. I think that in this orange peel experiment, when you squirt orange peel juice onto a balloon, the nonpolar limonene dissolves part of the nonpolar balloon, causing it, the structure to weaken and ultimately pop. Now I'm going to try this balloon. Same experiment. See what happens. I know you probably don't believe I'm actually squirting it, but I am. Let's push this just a little bit further. Obviously this balloon is resistant to popping at it, to say the least. I'm going to really push it here and I'm going to add a little bit of limonene to this balloon. Before I do that, I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to try to add a drop to the top. I don't know if it's going to work or not. There's a drop. <laughs> Whoop! <laughs> well, they both finally went. But certainly, this balloon was resistant to popping relative to the other ones that I was testing. Why might that be? Well, not all balloons are created equal. Some balloons uh, have vulcanized rubber in them. So rubber is made of polymer strands. And this particular, if the, if the polymer strands are not cross-linked, then the uh, rubber can dissolve easily in nonpolar solvents. In vulcanized rubber, the polymers in the rubber are cross-linked, and that makes the rubber more resistant to dissolving in solvents, which is exactly what we're observing. 